I'm done. I'm not doing this. I'm like actually not doing this today. I'm not. I don't want to. I can take it. From okay, here, guys. never mind. Never mind. Like, I just I want a moment for attention for me, and you need more comments about you. You like need it. You said you were done. You said you were tapping out. So. <laughs> Drew's actually tapped out. <laughs> no, I'm literally done with this situation. I'm done. Wait, what does that? What does that the mean? The podcast mean or like done. me and you're Ty? done with the podcast. You're not doing. I the was podcast joking anymore. when we welcome to this episode of Emergency Intercom. But I I was Bye. starting it off as a joke. Oh. Oh, he just left. And yeah, I feel like this is your fault. Honestly, you came in with this crazy energy. You're literally gaslighting me. <laughs> I like you're back. You paused your game to be to here. Come back. <laughs> he paused his game to be here. I literally did. I paused Elden Ring to be here. So I hope you guys are really excited and happy about that. Um and a little more appreciative of me. Because as much as I give, I can take it all away and I can ruin all your lives. So. Oh my God. <laughs> I like, while you were talking, I was... For I'm basically your God. I wasn't thinking about what you were saying because I was trying to think of a good Elden Ring like Elden joke. Lean? No, I was going to say, I was trying to think of one that's like Elden Ring this, Elden Ring that. What you need is that phone to ring with some bitches on the other line. <laughs> like, I was trying to think of something like that. What but you I was need like, is a cock ring. <laughs> Elden Ring, Elden Ring, cock ring. I slept for two hours <laughs> last night. I've never once in my life, I've never once have I had... I wouldn't never even, I wouldn't, once? I wouldn't call it insomnia. Um, but... It's slay insomnia. That's not, that's not fair. That's not... I'm not allowed to claim that because I know people who have that and that's really, really gnarly and scary. But me, whatever I went on in my body last night was actually terrifying and if i do that again tonight i genuinely don't know if i will be able to continue in this life i may have to hard reset and by hard reset hard reset i mean kill myself and, oh i and, thought you, know, you were gonna say like take melatonin no no, no. <laughs> like tomorrow no i mean restart the game because i have this theory that when you die you just restart the same life over again oh it's a it's a infinite loop that one sounds so fucking boring and like not cool. I know that it's that's what scares me the most. It's like what if like when we die we just wake up and it's like that's what deja vu is is like we just die and then wake up. My life's pretty lit. I wouldn't mind personally. Girl, mine is boring. This shit's boring. It's boring because you decide to dedicate eight hours a day to a video game. Yeah, because I'm trying to escape this reality that I've lived three thousand times already. <laughs> You wouldn't get it. Like, you wouldn't get it. Um, no, but last night, I genuinely, like, could not sleep. Like, I, I would close my eyes and, like, 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 be shaking, like, trying to, like, turn my brain off. But it just ran for hours and hours and hours. Do you have a hours. Coke or anything late? Uh, I had, like, a Popeye's Coca-Cola, like, at, like, <laughs> 9.30, which is, like, my best guess because i've i don't have soda past i try not to have soda past like six um i literally have rarely ever been affected by caffeine like that when i was in new york i was at that in dom's house and i did like have a coffee in the middle of the night like literally at midnight and i did stay up till 5 a.m which is very rare for me to have a coffee late and like actually stay up but that night i was I was up and I was stuck. And yep. so was my boner. And it's up and it's stuck. I, I heard somewhere that that's not even what that means. Pop and twist. <laughs> I heard somewhere that that's not even what up and it's stuck means. But I might be. Wait, what? Are, oh, you were saying it up and I stuck thought, is a like, boner? I thought Cardi B meant like it's up and it's stuck is like he stays hard around her. Like his cock <sighs> is like belligerently hard. Yeah, that's what I would assume it would I be I heard too. that that's not what it meant, means. Kai, you should look it up. Kai, look up what what did Cardi B's mean? Up and it's stuck? Yeah, I, I heard um, it meant something else. Maybe I like, I don't, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but like Kami's stuck inside. <clears throat> it could be and that's you're gonna find out well no it would come out kind of i don't 
Oh, ladies, always pee after sex. <laughs> always pee after sex. I I literally have like never had a UTI, and I I think that's why is because I'm so paranoid about getting a UTI from not peeing after sex that I don't give a fuck about laying around and being sweet. I will get the fuck okay. up and run to pee. This is what the article says. That's it not says, true. But for Cardi B, the words have their own meaning. We know she was joking with Fallon when asked about the meaning. Oh, this is okay. So it's a joke. I fucked up. So I need to actually find out the real meaning. Cause... Yeah, mute your mic again. Yeah, like. All right, sorry just guys. Just shut up, Kai. We got a I'm we so got a mic in front of Kai, and literally he takes every opportunity to speak again. Now. <laughs> Me when I asked him a question. <laughs> um, but I slept like a baby last night. I had a really good sleep. I woke up naturally at like nine forty a.m. Like the sun. Oh my god, I actually almost threw up during that. Um, the sun, like, are you okay? You're like actually losing it. Are you sleeping with your eyes closed right now? Oh, never mind. I'm doing this micro sleeps. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm doing this micro dosing sleep. <laughs> it's stupid. Um, but yeah, I slept like a baby personally, and I felt so good to be in my bed. Azul was with me. Um, I need to take Azul to the groomer though and get her belligerently shaved because she, I was like covered in lotion because I'm like, um, she's a soft girl. She yeah, likes a, to lather herself and make I'm her a, skin oily and slick. No, I'm an eczema girl and I put lotion on my body and it sucks it up within like two <laughs> minutes and then I need more. Um, but I like had lotion all over my body and Azul got onto me and every, all of her hair was sticking to my face and it was freaking me the living fuck out. Mm. But I fell asleep watching Evan and Caitlin uh, slay the duo. We need found, them on the podcast. I found the answer. They would never be on this podcast. If it's up, then it's stuck as a phrase said when something is popular or going to be popular that's what daily rap facts says see no we it's had a, our it brains. means it means boner <laughs> we had our brains in the gutter and really it's about success it's about a success story about women and you guys sexualize it oh you men sexualize. yeah i did <laughs> i'm not gonna apologize for having a libido i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm just oh. a man i actually i checked another website it says if it's it says up, Kai is stupid and silly no, and smells like no. shit. It says if it's up, then it's stuck means when Kai's boner is in Drew's ass. Oh my fuck. Oh my it God. says that on the website. There goes right our here. monetization. Yeah, Thanks, we're done. Kai. And it's your fault. It's not from Drew mentioning creamies. <laughs> <laughs> Creamy. <laughs> I'm going to be your little cream pie. What are you going to be for me, though? Um, Your little cunnilingus. Ew. Dude, you said something to uh, Kai on like the last episode. You were like, um, that no, husband Kai said stitch. it to you, the husband stitch, and I had never heard that in that. my life. I said that to Kai. I had never heard that in my life. And I was <laughs> like, I, I don't think I showed it, but in my head, I was like, really, like, actually, like, like when a kid hears a new it. word and is like, oh, okay, like that's <laughs> like. Well, um, Kai sent me a text message of a comment. Um, I'm avoiding the comments now, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I can't read comments because people were like going in on me and like, listen. Oh, no, I, I can't read comments because they're not going in on me. They're talking about Orion. And I'm not even going to address it any further than that because if I feed the beast, it'll oh, just Oh, people calling going. Orion sexy? Yeah. You know what me. it is? We've just garnered the horniest audience ever because if there isn't a guest, the comments are calling us sexy. <laughs> so it's like any like any new human who like they can feast their eyes on, they're like, oh, oh, oh fuck, 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 fuck. Like put any of y'all in a room with Kai or Orion and I bet you don't say a word. I bet you freeze. <laughs> <laughs> no, I bet they fucking hump their leg. <laughs> That's not okay. <laughs> I'm you guys feel Ryan. free to hump my leg. I hump yeah, if you see leg. me in person, if you meet me, hump my leg. <laughs> I'm begging. I'm begging. I need it. I need to feel something. Sometimes when I see Orion after not seeing her for a long time, I also hump her leg. Yeah, it's natural. It's literally like she has that power over us. Yeah, she's just it's animal instinct. It's like Primal. I have to. Yeah, I have to like reconnect my pheromones with her kneecap. Mm. On my cooter. The behind the knee pheromones <laughs> are the best in the body. That's what they say. We need a kneecap to cooter <laughs> integration right now mm. with me and Orion. <laughs> but, anyways, Kai sent me a comment that said, um, You know which one I'm referencing? Yeah, yeah. Hold on. 
it said something about me literally being a genius and I just have to read oh it. Oh my God. It's I'm, so I'm good. thinking like, see, my life is like, oh, I can't read comments anymore because everybody like likes to say that I'm like a piece of shit cunt fucking bitch. So I I'm mean, like, oh, maybe wrong? I'll like back up. Are they wrong? No, they're not wrong. <laughs> but like, shut the fuck up because I'm going to smack the shit out of you. I'm going to double down and beat you up. Uh, Bria Lester said, I feel like no Bria, one mentions... What? Um, no one mentions how Drew is always using such advanced <laughs> vocabulary and he uses it so casually, which like proves that he actually understands the word or, or actually understands what it means. Like, what the fuck is ergonomic? I thought it said what the fuck ergonomic is Ergonomic is not ergonomic. a big oh, word. Oh, does it say in ergonomic? I, did I read it wrong? What the fuck is an ergonomic? That's what I thought it said. Yeah, what's what the fuck is an, an ergonomic? Yeah. yeah, that's how it is. That is not um, a big word. Y'all are just dumb. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. I'm getting hella jealous about them calling you smart. I'm like, that's actually a really fucking small word, and you're just stupid as shit. I mean, it, it is. It is a small word. Um, for Drew. For me. <laughs> yeah. For me. No, I said for me, too. But I, if you asked me to spell it right now, I genuinely couldn't. I just looked at it for three minutes. I could not spell it. <laughs> you know what? You're giving me a... <laughs> a lap dance later. No, you're giving me a lot to twink about. Right? I mean, think about right now. Uh, oh. I am not a twink. <laughs> I thought about that <laughs> joke on the toilet like the other day. <laughs> and I was going to text it to you. And then I was like, no, I need this needs to be said out loud. <laughs> yeah, that was fire. <laughs> You're getting like super offended. I mean, that is like borderline a hate crime. I meant to derogatory. Me a yeah, that was de- that's a derogatory term, and Who I'm says- I'm revoking your allyship until further notice. And I'm sorry. I'm oh sorry God. until you apologize. Uh, first of all, I never claimed to be an ally. <laughs> <laughs> like you can't take from me what I never had. Um. Um. Oh, I got yelled at by Fran Leibowitz, but on fucking meth and K two. At Madison Square Garden, they had what looked like Fran Lebowitz if she worked That's at Madison insane. Square Sorry Garden. Sorry, I'm gonna cut you off for a second. That's insane that you mentioned K2 because I mentioned K2 to all of Squad the other day. And Remember I feel when like we went no through a K2 to- like? Uh- <laughs> We did not go through a K2 phase. No, no, not through us doing it, but like looking it up and like being uh, like, holy watching shit. watching all the videos. Like watching all the videos. We were already went through a K2 dabbling phase. Yeah. Um, no, like all the, like. It was that a scared, candy cane in a plastic bag. That scared the fuck out of me. Like yeah. I was so convinced. I was like, I'm going to accidentally smoke K2. Like I was <laughs> like, like, I don't like, know how, but like. Well, one day I'm going to put K2 into like something you're smoking what if it actually like it's the real me like it's, it's it me resets. but it's, it's it like resets me and i'm like actually very like i'm like doubling down on like being like the most like calm person and i'm like it's, it's just, a like, dmt trip for you or a um ayahuasca trip you know what we need to do is people need to learn that they can have those experiences and shut the fuck up about it. No, that's like part of it. I was telling <laughs> I know, everybody that that's you did like, it. No, it's like all the side effects are like, oh, you could possibly like trigger schizophrenia. Like, no, the worst side effect is that this motherfucker will never <laughs> shut up about it. Like, yeah. that's the worst side Maybe effect. After my episode where I just talked about my ketamine treatment for like 30 <laughs> minutes. <or. laughs> that's different because you're a human who doesn't get to naturally enjoy happiness. Oh, that's so, so sweet. When you get it chemically, get it's pass, fun. Is what you're saying? Yeah, you get the pass. All right. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Uh, Fran Leibowitz on K two and Matt. Oh, okay, yeah. So literally, it looked like if they before Fran Leibowitz like entered like the like queer community in New York, she was taken away and held kidnapped under Madison Square Garden for sixty years, and then they were like, "You have to work here now," and they just let her out in the <laughs> like. Three. stadium yeah, um and i yeah i was just being yelled at and fucking harassed by her and she had a death wish for me and oh, i was God. being so nice like i she could sense your bad energy she could some s- people can do that i know you know what i think it is i think look sometimes between pe- look at people right here um between their collarbones and the color that surrounds them is their aura and you're giving white aura right now i don't know what it means but i can see like a white no glow. you're seeing my shirt Drew. No, no no there's like a white glow behind you the wall? No, no. <laughs> the white wall? Did you know I sang the intro um, in the HBO thing? The uh... <laughs> and I played piano for Succession. I did. I sang it. Sang it. You sang the piano. No, no. I sang the HBO like 
intro. But why did you say you sang it and then do piano movements with your arm? It just sounds like you're getting caught up in your own uh, line right now. But the thing is, is it's like 43 of my vocals stacked. So it's impo- it's actually physically impossible for me to do it right now. You don't but- have the original file? Just show us. Just show us the file. Uh, that's a breach of my contract. So <laughs> there's no way that's it, it's like so public. So like it's a breach of my contract, and they can kill my family if I. You signed a contract with HBO <laughs> to sign over the life I of really your family. I really needed a fix, man. I really needed it. <laughs> I needed that hit. Literally me when I go down my K two era. Yeah. <laughs> um, what is K two? Um, I don't know what that is. It is a synthetic chemical that when you smoke it it causes insane hallucinations isn't it like gmo weed weed yeah, yeah it's it's, like, it's, it's it like, were, that's what it was advertised as yeah. is like weed i think like if you change the chemical compound structure of a drug enough it doesn't even have to be that much it's legally like not that's what delta eight is do you know what delta eight is no it's, not. it's literally just like the loophole in texas and like the southern in miami um uh, oh, it's damn. just like it's literally weed with like one little molecule change and it completely bypasses the loophole and you can just go to any smoke shop and actually buy weed nugs in like these like historically Republican um, cities. And I think they're okay with it because it's taxed. Like they don't really give a shit. And I think they're, it's also like a trial run where they're like, oh, like our population can survive and smoke weed and we can also make a shit ton of money if we like pass it as a law. Does it hit different or... Uh, I'll, I'm gonna hit you different, okay. but not like sexually. And I'm gonna tap that oh. differently, very sexually. And you're just gonna hit me physically violently, and then you're gonna hit me sexually at the same time. I'm gonna tap. That's that. perfect. That's like <laughs> it's guys' dream scenario. <laughs> um, but K2 is like, I, I, it was advertised as weed, but when you smoke it, like. <laughs> You literally turn into you like enter like an actual other dimension. That's I'm not like kidding. I think South someone Park. actually accidentally gave me K two when I had my bad high. Because like when I see videos of the way like people act when like they jumping out K2, of windows and that shit. was literally me. I literally was running away from my friends in an apartment. Like they scared me and I thought they were gonna kill me and I was like <laughs> running around and screaming. Like yeah. there's no way I didn't have K two. But my friend also took some of that edible. But my slice probably had more K two in it. <laughs> <laughs> more spice um yeah literally uh i know some people who've done it and uh they describe their trip as they were like you know the ziploc bags with like the little piece that slides mm-hmm. across the top they were that piece across the top the red piece that you slide across the top and that was their entire trip for like 15 minutes was them sliding back and forth um and that was their trip on k2 so like if that's like a and this is a very trustworthy source, so it's okay, not like an exaggeration. Yeah, so literally, I have smoked K2. Not actually, I'm just joking. But like my whole thing was that I felt like I was like the book pages being flipped. Like like Girl, really you slowly just, and then really You just had it. too much weed. There's, but like the Where thing Where did you is, buy the edible? I didn't buy it. Where did they buy the edible? Um, I don't know. Was it from like it a smoke shop? It was just in this little like gummy pack. I doubt they put... K2 no, I'm obviously I'm joking. I don't think I actually had K2, but I'm like, so I, I'm still so confused because I'm like, how are there so many humans who have not experienced that? But there yeah. are like a, plenty of people who have experienced it. And maybe they were like, oh, this is what being high is. I just don't like it. And like they move on. I've had my good eye on those weed sodas in there for like the last week and a half. I'm like, I'm like, I, I get this like fiending every six months where I'm like, I need to smoke weed. I need to do it. I need it. Like, I need it really bad right I now. I think you need to literally, I'm not kidding, have like a shot worth of that. And like, you would be good. I think I, I do. Think that's I, how low your tolerance is. I think I do need the panic though. I think I'm like at a point in my life where I need to have a panic attack just to like purge it out. What? I'm serious. You haven't slept. slept. <laughs> like, to, like, you haven't slept. Why are you talking about you need a panic? Um, I just, I'm at a point where I need that reset, that hard reset. Also, I cleaned out one of the dungeons and I'm actually worried because there was a shirt, a white shirt covered in black mold at the bottom of it. And I was breathing those spores for literally three hours cleaning out that um, uh, the, boiler room? the boiler room. And I'm pretty sure that's what gave me an insomnia. They're attaching to all the receptors in my brain and keeping me awake and killing me from the inside out. I don't think that's how quickly humans can go out. Mm. I've read some stories. 
Yeah, you're reading stories about people with like undiagnosed like conditions who then interact with these. I things. am gonna get Alzheimer's from this. No, actually, you're gonna get Alzheimer's from using um, aluminum filled deodorant. Girl, just entertain it. Entertain you. I I said you are gonna get. I I, I agree. You are gonna get Alzheimer's, <laughs> but not from what you think. Not from. I'm gonna the- get alt timers because I'm like alternative. It's like this <laughs> new thing of Alzheimer's where you actually remember everything, <laughs> and it's actually really painful. <laughs> You remember everything you trauma blocked. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was uh, talking to like uh, this group of girls. No, the other you day. weren't. You weren't. Oh. That's true because I don't believe in women and I don't believe talking to them or giving them the time of the day. Good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I was like talking to them and one of them told me that what. <laughs> I was like, I put myself in the viewer's position just now <laughs> and hearing me say. No, you weren't. Like, just like, <laughs> like shutting your story down immediately is like, oh, like really jarring. <laughs> it's really jarring because like for a lot of people, this is their only glimpse into our relationship. So they're like, oh, I don't know if I would let my, I like like if my friend did that to me. <laughs> like I feel like there's so many people who watch the way we interact and they're like, I find it funny when I see it. But if my friend did that, I don't think I'd be I would happy. hit them. I would I would have sex with them, and that's what I do with Drew when, he yep. does, when he's being naughty with When me. I act up, she plays with me. I'm her little toy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm um, like a yarn, a ball of yarn. And I'm a cat. And you bat me around. We are kind of like... Um, cat and mouse. We're, we're Batman and Catwoman. Kind I'm of. Catwoman. I'm Catwoman. Why the fuck would you because be Catwoman? Because I'm sexy fucking hot. Batman was sexy fucking hot. You could be Batman. I'll be Batman. Yeah, you're gonna like. There was no question about it. I'm can being I be ha- Catwoman. No, no, you can be Penguin. You can be Penguin or the fucking cat that is there. Like the cats on the floor. Okay. Are or you- the bowl of milk. <laughs> the bowl of milk that's fed to the cat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, um, but, but no, I do feel like I've been giving Batman Robert Pattinson Batman recently. I feel like I'm like I have that energy read my aura look, look right read here. your shirt you are not giving anything <laughs> oh also drew who got you that shirt kai got me this shirt for my birthday he promised me something else that i was really excited about oh my god <laughs> <laughs> it's no. like a custom thing that needs to be manufactured over the course of like four weeks and the, and the minimums are like four thousand <laughs> i asked for the most unobtainable <laughs> gift possible um, for like two weeks, I was DMing so many people trying to figure out how to get it made. Um, it is a plushie of this <clears throat> thing that I desire very deeply that if I have, it will ruin my it's life. It's a penis. <laughs> <laughs> is it? It's a dick. Is it actually? No. no. <laughs> I, like, I believed that. Like, that I, is believable. And he was like, is that a joke? Like, like I, I was know. like, I don't think that's a joke. And then I, for some reason, thought, I was like, is it the um, Inside Out Dad? Or, like, I was like, is that the plushie? I was like, I could see him getting, like, a huge... <laughs> so dad. I mean... Him buying, like, a $4,000, like, life-size model of it. I'm not saying that when I if go into VR chat... I have sex with VR or with um, <laughs> Inside, Inside Out, Out Dad. Dad. I'm not saying that. That's all I'll say. It seems like that's Wait, what no, you're saying, though. It's yeah. Why would you even bring that up? None of us were like accusing you. Of Damn, that, that e sex was crazy. <laughs> Literally, me when I was 14 on Omegle. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, me too. Actually, don't do that. <laughs> if you were 14, don't do that. Yeah, that's like like. D- did everybody have that experience? <laughs> and we all wait. Did, did everybody have did, that? I think literally everybody did. And we just like all don't talk about it. No one talks about. It. I mean, we talk about it sometimes, but it's like it, it is this like ubiquitous thing that everyone experienced. That you go yeah. online. Like the thing is, at this point, so many people talk about having done it that there's no way you were having e sex with like another actual adult. It was probably another fourteen year old. Yeah. On the other side. Who is also being like, yeah, I'm a grown up and I'm so horny right now. That was just our chat rooms, right? Yeah. Like our AOL chat rooms. Yeah, except it was with strangers and like, I'm sure some people actually had like really 
gnarly stories. Really from that. gnarly intentions. Or I guess like yeah, there were definitely like creeps on there, but I was having fun. I don't know how we got this far off, but basically I was talking to a group of women. Also, someone in the comments was like, oh, I love how Enya says like woman, like like present tense and we've, like whatever. We've had this conversation like, But I, can, I cannot pronounce it any other way. Like the, it, it's like, women, it, woman. it's like the way I say crayons. Like I can't like, I'm not about to just switch up and be like crayon. Like when I say like woman, <laughs> like I like, that's, that the, is me crayon. putting it in. There are bitches that say crayon. Crayon. I say crayon. Oh my no, you god! Don't. You don't. I do say crayon. Yeah. I say crown. Give me the crown. Crown. Yeah, I'm gonna draw with the crown. <laughs> Give me the crown. Um. <laughs> yeah, I can't think of any. Oh, Josie makes fun of my my volume. 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 Turn up the volume. I don't think I say it like that, but you now do. I can't think about it. Yeah. And then um, there was one more. I don't remember what it was. But it's like Drew, you have a big cock or something like that. Um, no, it's probably like Drew, I'm gonna smack the shit out of you if you look at me another like second longer. <laughs> Ew. For the listeners, I'm staring at her deeply. Drew, you have a big cock. I feel like I say it normal. <laughs> Guy, you ate that up. Thanks. <laughs> um, Why anyway. did I feel that in my penis? <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> Shut up. Um, and you say it now. Say it, say it, say it, say it. I'm not going to say it. I have a huge cock. I would have like a really average size penis, I think. <laughs> like it would like. No, you would have either the tiniest, babiest penis in the world or like a monster. <laughs> no, you can't. You can't say like either side of the spectrum. No, you have e- to pick one. Okay. You would have a tiny baby penis. Um, I don't think so. I think I would like be so like incredibly average that whoever I was dating, like, before me, they had, like, seen a really small dick. So, like, mine was, like, impressive by, like, that. Okay. But if if but if but it went the other way, if they, like, had a boyfriend who had, like, a huge cock and then they had me, they'd be like, mm-hmm. I can settle. I'll settle. Yeah, like, what, whatever. <laughs> I, I got lucky last time. Like, that would be their idea. It's like, I, I got really lucky. you would have a huge, like, bulbous cock. I think I'd have huge balls, though. You'd have huge balls, You'd have a yeah. shiny wiener. <laughs> A shiny talisman. <laughs> um. Anyways, I was talking to a fucking group of women. W- woman. Woman. I don't know. Yeah. Woman. W- woman. <laughs> um. And we were talking about just like being girls. Girls being girls. And we talked about like pregnancy. And so- one of them just told me this, and I've never heard this. But I was like, oh my god, is that real? So I don't know if this is real. What I'm about to say. But one of them was like, oh, your brain blocks out a lot of the pregnancy pain you feel your brain will like trauma block it and that's why as painful as pregnancy is you have another kid you just got all that oxytocin pumping through your blood no oxytocin is like a real chemical yeah isn't it it's like when i hug you it's the cuddling chemical yeah and like when you have (laughs) the that was real that was real that was real as well. And he looked Enya directly in the eyes and, <laughs> and he whispered was hiding that. behind his hand. He it's was like, cunt. it's the cuddling. <laughs> He's so embarrassed. That was so embarrassed. way too crazy. <laughs> like, I'm like lost. Like, Can you're flustered. Can we just move on? Down, <laughs> yeah, so oxytocin <laughs> is the cuddling chemical, Kai. <laughs> um, but it is actually though. Um, I've never heard of that. Like when you hug me? We release oxytocin. No, when I and hug you, get... I release fear. <laughs> you put fear <laughs> whatever, into my body. Whatever, whatever chemical fear is, that's what happens to me. Wait, what is that chemical? Um, that's like cortisol. Uh, yeah, cortisol in the kidneys. Yeah. Oh, I got Y'all a scary are fucking text losers. I got a scary text message. Really? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see jealousy. Oh, I just got a text message that said my name Drew, which is automatically terrifying and then yeah. it says we need to go to a livestock show or rodeo absolutely we do <laughs> you're so annoying who said that orion you're so stupid you'd be like i just got a scary text <laughs> that's message. every time i get a text message or a call from like a loved one i uh, the most amount of anxiety and fear shoots in my body yeah i will say the same sophia called me right before we started and I, like fear shot through my whole body because yeah. i was like I'm like, what? What happened? Who died? It's the middle of the day. Yeah, like you should be. No matter what me. time of the day, <laughs> uh, when, well, no matter what time of the day it is, I'm like, it's the middle of the night. It's 7 p.m. It's 
It's only 11. Why are they calling? Yeah, exactly. It freaks me the fuck out. Phone calls were made to scare you. Text messages were made for love and arguments that you're not brave enough to have broken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Except I don't argue over text. I don't argue at all. I stay silent. I'm choosing to disengage from this conversation. Me too. I'm like, you can talk to yourself right now. There's a lot of anger in your words, and I cannot. There's a lot of anger in your words, and there's a lot of anger in my words, and we should not be having this conversation while we're angry. Let's take a breather and come back. Let's take five. I do think sometimes like an angry conversation is necessary, though. Word. Um, sometimes. Like, very rarely, but like, Sometimes I think someone needs to hear how angry you are with them. Passionate. Yeah. Like they need to hear like, because like if you, anger is just like another level of like hurt. It's another level of love, baby. <laughs> um, No, but I, I actually do agree with that. <laughs> but you, no one can talk angry to me though. Because <laughs> it, it'll freak me out. I just realized we have this light on and it freaked me out because Kai looked at me and I was like, why are his eyes so shiny right now? They're like glossed over and it's because the light is right there. <laughs> look at him. He looks like a little angel. You do look like a little angel really? right now. Yeah. Aww. Kai, let me read your aura. Move over. Why do you like, why do you claim you have this ability? Yellow. It's literally yellow. Maybe orange. Really? Yeah. What does that mean? I don't know. Yeah. You're just saying things. What do you okay, like? What, you're read, just. I'm going to read uh, Drew's. Look at me between my collarbones. It's going to be something sexual. LGBTQ flag. <laughs> it's rainbow. <laughs> I have the rainbow aura. I'm an indigo child, y'all. What does that mean? And they're like savants. Um, I'm actually gonna look up auras. <laughs> Did you say savants? Yeah. Should we go get our auras read today? I, I, I always want, want it because I want to post it on Patreon, IG. Patreon, oh, yeah. Patreon episode. Actually, I'm we should down. go do that tomorrow. Sorry, you guys don't get to be involved. Yeah, in we're gonna public. go get our auras read on the Patreon. Sorry. <laughs> um okay what the fuck was oh yeah yours was white what it's not like you you can't see anything also i'm literally wearing a white shirt against a white well balanced <clears throat> personality calm and open to possibilities oh my god that is so <laughs> kai yours is a yellow and it was all yellow it's not objectively yellow that's like what you read you know so if it's bad mm. <laughs> fear of commitment okay um because they're attracted to them for the wrong reasons. Oh, fuck. Um, but it's very energetic, Aura. Okay, that's good. What is mine? I oh. don't know what you're doing, so Just I don't... look here, and then there's like a ring Aura, and you can see it. I, I see... Wait. And yeah. I'm not kidding. I actually don't see anything. You don't see any like, Aura? Like, I right see here. Blue. You're Aura-less. You're I see blue and violet. Drew, what does that mean? I see blue and violet. You're so lying like an to him. Indigo? Yeah. Okay, let me look up indigo. <laughs> You're just saying what he wants. <laughs> I hope it's awful. Spiritually enlightened in tune with nature. Yes. <gasps> That's yes. literally me. I am seeing, yeah. Indigo. I'm you're you are auraless. You're vibeless right now because I don't see shit. <laughs> Love and speaks of feelings, compassion, kindness, and peace. I am all of that. <laughs> I, I'm like a very peaceful this person. This is literally me anytime I'm like, I don't believe in like zodiac shit. Like I don't believe in astrology, and then someone says something you're good and I'm like, oh my god, yeah, that is a me. black yeah. aura right now. There's like a oh my god. What's wrong with that? I saw the flame. You saw a flame? There was a demon. It's because I'm your twin flame. I'm your... What is it? Twin flame? Soul flame? It's twin M. No. It's twin M. Um, for some reason, I feel like this has been a really silent episode. Does that make sense? Uh, it's just because oh I am literally <laughs> running on two hours of sleep. When you woke me up this morning, I was so scared. Did you, could, did you clock it? No. Oh, uh, I was lit. My heart was pounding because I was one. It's always the roles are reversed. <clears throat> I'm the one waking you up, and two, um, I felt like guilty for some weird reason. Um, and three, I was like, oh my god, I slept through the podcast. We slept through it. Oh um, no, I was so shocked to find you sleeping though, because I woke up pretty early and I was like. Should I go wake him up? He told me to, but then I was like, he's awake. Like he's always awake right now. So I just like chilled. What would be what would be sleeping through it? It would be like me just here 
alone <laughs> recording and then I go home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you yeah. record silence and you're like, listen, I clocked in and I did my job. Yeah, and like, I punched there's... my card in and then I punched <laughs> it out and I went home. <laughs> yeah, no, I just like was really terrified. I was like, oh no. But also like, you know, just like sleep fear. Yeah, it's waking it's like, up in fear. It's like I, I missed it. Like I missed the appointment. Yeah. I'm late for school. I'm late for this. Yeah. yeah, I'm late for school. We all know that feeling. Yeah. Like Do we here. have to bring backpacks tomorrow? <laughs> it's field day. It's the last day of the six weeks. Do we have to bring our bags? What does that mean? Did you know that if a teacher doesn't show up for 15 minutes, that you get to leave the class? That's some shit you say to your friends that no one's ever brave enough it's to do. It's true. <laughs> and also, if you go up to a cashier at Dairy Queen and they're not smiling when you ring the bell, you get a free blizzard. That's fucked up. <laughs> that is so <laughs> fucked up. I guess not necessarily to them because like it's not coming out of their pockets. I don't know if that's real. Yeah, like did you just make that up? Kinda. What does kinda mean? It's like <clears throat> this. It's a myth. No, I I can't say the reason on the podcast. I'm mysterious now, by the way. <laughs> no, you're not. You... I don't think mysterious people say I'm mysterious. Yeah, now, I, I also don't think being mysterious means like looking around all funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I don't think that's what that <laughs> I do have a rainbow aura. I am very horny right now. Hmm. No, I can't touch you. It will. I'll flood the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Don't play with me. <laughs> um. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Do you ever? You, I just need a moment of silence. I physically hurt. Like I have. Like I'm so sleep deprived. I physically hurt. Then go to sleep. You're fucking complaining. Like complaining up and down the goddamn walls. Go to sleep. Then. You oh, just, yeah. You could just sleep. pass out for like ten minutes. And, and I can and, keep going. Yeah, me and me, and, me and Kai will pick it up. And then people will be like, oh, my God, am I the only one who liked the, like, last, like, 20 <laughs> minutes of the episode more than the, like, first 40 when Drew was awake? <laughs> Kai, what have you been up to? I've just been chilling and, like, um. Wow, there's really <laughs> great rapport. <laughs> Really good. Sorry, I, 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 I actually look, feel great now. I had to look away from him because we were maintaining eye contact for a long time, and I was like, "Is this like hindering his ability to talk?" <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. It was, it was energizing me. I've just been doing freelance stuff, three D uh, rendering, slay, you know, working. I got some more jobs recently. Wow. So you're working for other people. I am working. You're going for other on. People. You're going on. You're spreading you're your seed. Total seat. fucking I slag. Have to work for other people because you guys refuse to pay. Me. I well, and we're not going to start paying you. You what? You think you think saying it publicly is going to change that? You're not getting paid ever. Actually, I feel like that's what we could talk about. We could have um, a business meeting on the podcast where I <laughs> beg you to pay me. So H <laughs> three. <laughs> we turn this into H three. Trisha paid us. Negotiating um, my my payroll on the podcast. And guess what? It's not going to fucking work. And y'all can comment all you want, but I refuse to give this man a penny. I'm not gonna leave. I'll fucking stay. Have fun. You're too locked in. I'm too locked in. Uh, it's been 48 weeks. 48 weeks. 48 hours. Did y'all ever watch that the first 48? No. Mm -mm. What? Is what it is the that? I watched it with my family a lot. Like that was our family show, which is kind of crazy. But first 48 is like crime investigations, because and it's like most crimes, like if they're not solved in the first 48 hours, there's a chance they become cold cases mm -hmm. and they never get solved. Um, and it's just like murder, murder, robbery, robbery. assault, assault, physical assaults, battery charges. What is, why is it called that? What the fuck is a battery charge? Abortion. That's not a crime, Drew. I guess. Should we get in? Is. So should, that, we get, should we get it? That abortion is a crime <laughs> and that we're I, killing innocent babies. <laughs> I actually had a conversation with my mom where she was like talking to me about me having kids. And I was like, dude, I'm not doing that till I'm like 30 plus. Like, don't stop talking about it. I'm like, not having my first abortion until I'm 30 plus. <laughs> I was like, I'm not having a kid in a very long time if I am. And then she was like, um, she was like, are you taking any like pre precautions to like make sure that doesn't happen? And I was like, no. I was like, there's like ways to get around I'll it. I'll scrape it out. I'll I'll literally take a fucking scrape pair of tongs sides. and rip it out and plop it in my mouth like a fucking cherry. <laughs> Jelly bean. <laughs> but um and then This she, is going on Fox News. 
Two liberals eating aborted fetuses. Speak for yourself. I'm not liberal. I'm a You're libertarian. Canceled. I'm slayberal. <laughs> <laughs> That's my new genre. Slayberal. <laughs> <laughs> Kenya's a neo slaverol. <laughs> <laughs> um, but my mom was basically like being like, well, you know, just like if, but if you do get pregnant, like maybe it's a sign that you should keep it. And I was like, maybe it's a sign that I shouldn't if it happens by accident. You're getting a call. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. I'm getting a crazy <laughs> call right now. Hold on. Hello. This is Spectrum with an automated. Uh. <laughs> I got so excited. I thought it was the crazy man. Anyway, my the mom was basically telling me I can't, I can't uh, get an abortion. And I was just like, you need to s- stop even speaking to me because I'll get one faster <laughs> than you know it. I'll get one to prove a point. <laughs> yeah. To you. Like I will, I will exercise my rights because they're always trying to be taken away from me. Period. Um, How are you feeling? How am I feeling? Yeah. Hmm, pretty good. Um, like mentally. Mm-hmm. yeah I've, I've been awesome honestly because i've just been like on like a steady like stupid streak when bad things happen i instantly like put it way back in the in the like back back part of my brain so Which i've is been healthy. awesome yeah I, i'm not kidding i actually do think me and my therapist talk about this a lot sometimes avoidance is okay avoidance is okay if there is not a clear solution that you can get to like Almost immediately. If the path ahead of you is clear, maybe you're on the wrong path. My path is clear because I cannot envision anything. Like I, I people you're keep on talking about else's path. People keep talking about like a they year. Cleared the way. <laughs> you said they're clearing the way. They already cleared the way. <laughs> shake, shake it up, move, be a shaker and a mover. <laughs> you sound like someone who's like just like is working for the calm app. Yeah. True. How are you feeling? I was gonna say that, but you, you like you weren't even letting me speak. Every time I was saying something, you were like, "Shake, do." Uh, Drew, how are you feeling? I was gonna Thank say you, that. Kai. Thank you, Kai. Um, awful. Should oh I kill the vibe? <laughs> I've been heavily considering relapsing. <laughs> Not joking. Um, well, you know what? What's good is my life is so fucking good that like what you're saying goes in one ear out the other because I'm on a amazing streak but what were you saying about being sad (laughs) oh just you know like it's hard sometimes oh you should just smile (laughs) (laughs) just smile and keep laughing and making jokes smile and wave boys smile and wave (laughs) (laughs) wait are you actually sad don't relapse just um i don't know what i am i'm kind of just like ignoring all my emotions that's literally that's what i've been doing and it's been working no it works really well just like bottling it up, never speaking about anything. Um, yesterday I did have like, I blew like a gasket, um, which is like a scary sign because I, I like had like, I was very angry yesterday. Don't know why, um, but I woke up just like in a bad mood and I haven't done that in a very long time. But like also it was warranted because the night before there was a big spillage of laundry detergent in the boiler room it like got all over the floor i didn't see it but josh and he cleaned it all up saint for that um and then i woke up the next morning and it had fallen again and i had to clean up the mess and it pissed me the fuck off like (laughs) i was boiling i was like this is fucking bullshit like why is this happening to me those that's like the worst of my problems though (laughs) um I <laughs> seems like there's something else. Going I know. On. It's it seems like that was just like the um like you know the See, I'm pushing everything else. The analogy down. where it's like, oh, you keep stubbing your toe and like people yeah. see like the final toe stub and like the explosion to that and they're like, What the fuck? You're freaking out over nothing, but it's like you don't know that this person has been stubbing their toe yeah. every single day on that this thing. Actually really like hit a chord with me just now. Like that was an aha moment. Mm-hmm. You you just but you just don't realize it because like when you're dealing with a problem in the face of it and it's easy to swallow it, you're like, oh, okay, that problem wasn't swallow that. Swallow it. <laughs> swallow what? Swallow a big fat load. <laughs> and sometimes the load is a lot, but like 
it just takes like a little double gulp. Like it's like, like it's the double gulp, not yeah. the big gulp. No, it's the a big gulp, gulp, slurpy straw. There's no, there's the gulp, there's the big gulp, and then there's the double gulp. Big gulp, slurpy. I think there straw. is something called a double gulp. Like yeah, that like is a, a cup. The Uber. Yeah, big that's size. that's the Uber size. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, you, you don't realize it because it's like, oh, it wasn't a big deal. But then like you keep doing that and then you're like, oh my God, I don't have any more space in my tummy to keep swallowing. I'm going to throw <laughs> up. What? Well, I meant like swallowing your problem. Okay. And okay. cum. Oh, and cum. Um, and oh. both of those together, it's like you fill up fast. <laughs> Um, Should I literally just sleep on the podcast? I feel like that would be interesting for people. You, <laughs> you can. I'll keep talking. I can talk forever. How are you doing, Kai? I'm doing good, actually. I've been happy for like three weeks straight. Yeah. yeah. Maybe, you Drew, you, maybe Drew should. You know what I w- will You're say? You're stealing my happiness from me. <laughs> no, no. You motherfucker. You've been happy too. Give You've it been back, happy too. bitch. Uh, I'm sad right now. Mm. <laughs> See, my emotions, it's funny, aren't taken seriously. I'm just <laughs> laughed at and scoffed at. I take them seriously as fuck. Well, I'm back in town, so it might make you happy. Maybe what you were missing was a little dose of me. Um, That's probably it, honestly. <laughs> well, I hope you feel better. I, I actually have, like, now that you're talking about being sad, I really have been awesome. Um, But, not, like, not, that came out wrong. What I'm saying is, not, like, <laughs> what I'm saying is, like, um... It's easy sometimes to be like, oh, I've been like, okay. But then like when you realize, oh, okay, like my friends are actually like kind of going through it right now and I'm in like a decent space. Does that make sense? <laughs> Makes me feel good that everybody else is good, but I'm bad. Well, maybe you should do something about it and stop fucking whining. No, that's literally my vibe. I'm <laughs> just like sitting in it. It's kind of getting comfortable. That, no, that's, a little too That's why I'm saying you need a little dose of me so I can drag you around and make you like go outside but and like <laughs> That's the this. thing is I love staying inside. Well, that's cuz you like it. Elden Ring. No, I don't even like half the time I'm not even playing Elden Ring. Like I, you can like Are you playing sh- Call of Duty? No, I'm not playing anything. I'm literally just like existing. Sitting? I've been consuming a lot of like shows and movies and documentaries. I love documentaries. I love them. What was the last one that you watched? Are we uh, getting into media? Ooh, what time is it? It's 51 minutes in. 51.50 oh. right now. 51.50 right you now. Want to be you want us to 51.50 on... you? Yes. I'm not gonna. That costs money. Episode sorry, 37 sorry. special. Drew gets 51.50. <laughs> Literally, that would be a vibe. <laughs> I'm begging for the help. The title for this episode, Drew gets 5150. I'm literally begging. Drew begging, asked to I'm be 5150, Kai and Enya say no. I was actually 5150, so this is like really offensive. Yeah. I was never 5150 because I can control myself. Oh. <laughs> that was a joke. That was a joke. Guys, oh my it was God. A joke. It, was, it was a joke, guys. It's like nowadays, like no one can take a fucking <laughs> you joke. You can't say fucking anything without offending someone. <laughs> Drew paused his game to be here. I paused my fucking game to be here. <laughs> I'm tapping. Drew getting 50 with 50 and the I paused my game to be here. Sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, what are some of the documentaries you've been watching? Um, there is this documentarian that Josh showed me called, I think it's El- Elrin, Elron or Eron um, Morris. And he... Do you know Hamilton Morris um, from Vice, the drug yeah. um, documentarian? His dad was also a documentarian. So nepotism, you can't do anything in Hollywood without fucking nepotism. Oh my God, um, yeah, that was a lot. But his dad um, made all these really fascinating documentaries. Um, and one of them that I watched was called, um, I think it's called Heaven's Gate, the Heaven Heaven's Gate or something like that, the Heaven's Gate. And it's about this like dude who started a pet cemetery, um, and that's literally it. it. Yeah. But it's like really interesting because, like, the way the documentary is like set up is like it's like him talking to someone who like is very pro pet cemetery, then him talking to someone who's like, "Girl, just burn the fucking animals. Like, why are we doing all this bullshit?" Um, and it's just I love like the, the duality. I love Pet Cemetery. like the idea of that. Mm-hmm. It's really cute. And the one that they had set up was really fucking cute. It was like really posh. Um, but yeah, I watched that one. And then I watched this documentary called Thin Blue Line. 
um, which is like the first, like, you know, like the modern style of crime documentary where yeah. it's like reenactments I need and shit. To watch this one. It's, it's really fucking sick. It's like, it's super advanced. Like, even visually today, I'm like, wow, this is like, this holds up. Like, and it's also like really crazy to um, see like, people from the 70s like recounting crimes and like reenacting crimes but they like look and sound like they're from the 70s and it's on film um it, it's just it was really it's like really just an awesome documentary it's called the thin blue line um, i'm literally gonna watch that today I, i'll watch it again with you oh yeah. i wish the one uh, the docuseries i watched wasn't so long because i would rewatch it with you but i literally just watched it Word. i honestly might like if you're down to watch it but mm-hmm. i watched funny enough my document wait wasn't there one more you watched no uh i I, yeah i just watched like a bunch of shit oh um yeah like i started succession i finished the season um and i can't believe i haven't seen the show that i literally played the piano for um that's like fucking weird right well that makes sense a lot of times artists like to like it's like not cool to like self-indulge yeah it's it's like uh it's like i want to watch the show but every time it starts i hear myself it's like so yeah and it's not it was when i did it it was like the probably the fifty-eight thousandth take but it was like really down to the wire and i just like like you know like an artist like their paintings are never finished like my chords you had to were let never go. finished you had yeah to let i just go. had to let go and give them what i gave them and True. i mean you, you did the drums for the porn hub like, yeah song, i did right? the drums for the porn hub i did the piano yeah but he did that by accident when he was like four when you were four yeah, yeah. his dad really it was a, it was it was all out of a home video his dad was recording him yeah and then and i was just like dude we need to make a documentary about drew about yeah, how he made all of the cool little intro sounds. I mean, do a you Drew know documentary? Kai, what's the song that I played the saxophone for? Um, oh, wait, is that the one by like Galantis? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, is that recently? No, this was like ten years ago. This eight was years ten ago. years ago. Let me figure out which song. Yeah, it's the there's like trumpets in the background, and also let's not forget the HBO humming like yeah. oh yeah that was a huge one. that was my highest pain yeah no that one's still paying that shit i still every time you hear that play i get a penny yeah not every even, single not just fucking a penny. Time. i've seen those checks it's more than a yeah. penny you're being humble yeah oh okay it's more than a penny i was gonna say that's like not that much no every time i mean think time, about hb like even euphoria pe- like every time someone watched euphoria uh, that sound doesn't play yeah it does right in the beginning uh I'm not Fuck, sorry, I am breaching my contract by singing it right now. <laughs> Copyright strike. Um, but you watching that reminds me on the plane. I watched a docu series called Nuclear Family, which was super fucking interesting. It was about this like lesbian couple who had a kid in like the eighties, nineties. Mm-hmm. Um. No, yeah, they had their kids in the 80s and they were like amongst the first like gay couples to like go out and just like be like, fuck it. Like we want a family and we're just going to start one. And it was they, they weren't the first, obviously, but like there weren't like many families, especially like they get involved in like a big like legal litigation like that involves the family. And it's really fucking interesting and like crazy. Um and there was a lot of things I did not know about. Um, and it just made me think about how you're I listening think, and, and learning. Yeah, I'm listening. I'm learning and I'm, I'm, I'm uplifting mm-hmm. um, your voice. This is what I love that docu series did give me a lot to twinkle. I think about bitch. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to fucking. No, mind. Um, and the, the like wife in it, Russo looks like Fran Lee Woods. And I like every time they showed an old picture of her, I'm like, I was like, I need coochie to kneecap interaction between me and this woman like i fully like i see it like i can coochie to kneecap <laughs> that's such a crazy vibe i need, need thigh to wiener contact i'm this is how you have to write out coochie to kneecap it's coochie and then this emoji like the like fingers crossed emoji to kneecap because that's what i'm gonna do to the knee it's like mm. i'm like i'm crossing my legs over that knee um but yeah, that series was awesome. And then I watched for the first time Nightmare on Elm Street and <laughs> it was awesome. One, the like licking phone, like the tongue phone. They need that in real life so I can put that on my coochie <laughs> when I'm having phone sex. Two. <laughs> <laughs> Two. 
Um, it was fucking hilarious, honestly. Yeah. Like it's iconically funny. Yeah, it was so fucking funny. I I started this thing that I didn't finish because I was watching it with my friend, and he was like, "Oh, you shouldn't watch this if you haven't seen the movie." And I was like, "Okay, loser." Um, but it was like talking about like the release of that movie and how it was so insane because it was like a truly like scary movie like and especially at the time like people would walk out of the theater like so frightened and like uncomfortable and there were a lot of scenes in that that i was like holy shit this is so fucking crazy that of them to like i don't know it's just like obviously me talking about one of the most like Hmm. phenomenal like movies and like of all time and i'm like it's so crazy but it is fucking awesome um also saw the batman and that was pretty lit i really liked the the uh, car chase scene the car chase scene was literally the only redeeming thing for me. Really? I did not like that movie. I liked it. I And I usually don't, like, know that I care about, like, comic book-based, like, movie. Like, I don't care about, like, Marvel and, like, all that stuff. Like, it's not something that necessarily tickles my fancy. But I did like it. Like, and I, I went into it belligerently tired, and I talked to Dom about it, and Dom was like, dude, I was, like, kind of, like, falling asleep because I saw it late, and I was like, fuck, I'm seeing it late and i didn't know it was that long of a movie and i was so tired that was, was one like, of my biggest qualms was how long it was it also didn't feel long to me the, the dialogue club scenes were so sick though the club I know, i'm trying to go to that club. oh yeah the like the eye or something yeah that was really cool um there were a bunch of cool things i just for some reason i left that movie and i was just really like let down like, i also that. think robert Ate Batman. No, I no, he did they, really both of them ate, and I want them to both eat me out. Um, Zoe Kravitz and Robert Pattinson. To double team you. They should have boned on screen, and I should have saw them all. Okay, sweaty. that okay, that was like I I guess I get it because it's like I but I think about all the old Batman movies and like I always think about how sexy Poison Ivy was. Yep. Um, and I'm like, she literally made me cross my legs hella hard as a kid. <laughs> so I'm like, this isn't serving like crossing my legs and like having to pee. This is serving like, pillow. yeah, like it, it was just not giving the sex appeal, especially like it's been so publicly like, oh my God, like I want them to fuck. And I was like, cool, like what? Batman got a boner at the end of the movie when they like <laughs> had that like little kiss, but like who cares? You have a boner in your fucking metal suit. It probably hurts. Like that's it's a like chastity belt. Yeah, literally. Like it's it, it just it wasn't giving. Batman is sexually repressed. Yeah, that's a conversation that we're not having as a society. We need to see Batman get head. Yeah, we Batman need to... needs to be drained. Yeah, <laughs> he drain needs gang. his balls drained. Drain gang. He needs um, to listen to Blade, right, guys? That's what y'all mean. No, yes. that's not. What I mean. That's what I meant. I mean, it can, um, it can mean that if you wanted to. But yeah, I just like left it just feeling, I don't know. But the more I sat on it and like heard everybody else's opinions on it, I felt left out. So I was like, yeah, I really, <laughs> I started to like it. But like, I really don't know why it just did not click with me. I liked it. The Also, this is a spoiler, like if you haven't seen it. But the pictures on the wall cracked me up, like of the Riddler, like his two <laughs> selfies, like the main Polaroid In selfies. Mask, mask. It cracked me up, and then him singing, I couldn't. I like that was, was laughing. the and I was worst like, thing. <laughs> I've, that actually physically made me cringe. And that song, like, why that song? It was the most cringy thing ever, and I could tell Paul, or is it Paul Dano? I think it's Paul Dano. Yeah, I could tell that like he was like, oh, they're like feeling themselves right now, and I like don't want to do this and he just like because ever his entire performance i genuinely thought was like spectacular and i could tell he was not into that like i t- could tell he was like this yeah. is like weird i felt so weird yeah that too i felt yeah. the exact same way yeah i think it was also yeah there was just a lot of little like there was qualms in the movie like i still am not at the point where i can see social media like depicted in like cinema at all yeah and not cringe like him being live i'm like that kind of like is stupid because i'm like if he's live like technically they could just like pin where he's at like he's he's literally publicly server i guess yeah no that's the shit that like really pissed me off like they would like i I don't know we could talk i could literally we could go back and forth for hours about it um because i literally the more i think about it the more i'm like like there are so many little things but and him um, having like the discord that's literally our discord i know that is the (laughs) patreon discord like Um, building bomb like there were so many cringy things on the side it was like 
It was like someone's get name the was like ratchet rifle. something. It was like get the assault rifle, um, get the snow camo helmet, like blah 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 blah. And I'm like, <laughs> y'all are literally like cringing me the fuck out, and you need to stop because you're feeling yourself too much. Yeah, I know. Um, there were things like that where I was like, this is okay. Like but I guess I ultimately get it. I can say the reason why I didn't like it is because I went into it thinking I was going to like watch like a very serious movie like the Joker or something. And like, it, this was like a completely different vibe where it was very comic. Book. Yeah, it, it was, was super it was like campy and comic booky. And like, I wish I had heard or saw Christian say it's like an anime noir, like going into it. Cause had I gone into it with that mentality, I definitely would have liked yeah, it. Yeah. That's how I went into um, it. And I was like, Oh, that is a really I good just, depiction. It's y- very cartoonish. Yeah. I went into like with it with into like the movie with such like different expectations that, but it's like the same with like albums that I listen to, like playboy Cardi, for example, like I expected like a bunch of baby voice cause all the leaks were baby voice. And then I got like, whole lot of red and i hated it the first listen through and then now i like it so maybe i just need to watch it again with different expectations and like it's just it. such a long movie to commit to watching. i'm never again. watching it again it's yeah. like one of the, it's like i never watched joker twice i never watched i i, I would just never watch it twice. i want to re-watch batman returns also um fuck i was gonna say something oh at the end they kind of like te- have you seen it mm-hmm. yeah they kind of like tease the joker and one thing i don't like about like the batman universe like is that all the movies have different castings. So I was really confused because I was like, is that supposed to be the Joker? Because it doesn't look like Joaquin Phoenix. And then I was like, oh, well, these movies, that's like usually how they play out. Like, correct me if I'm wrong, but I I don't think I've ever seen a Batman movie and they were, it's always like different actors playing the role. So I was like, who the fuck are they? Like, it felt like they had it like, they decided to like throw that in at the last minute like that's what it felt like and that they haven't actually decided which actor is gonna play the joker yeah cause so they was... gave it like a super super like ambiguous who voice. who was it i don't even know there was there someone uh, finn was talking about it it's like someone he knows but maybe that's like not public information i don't know what well, it is because it's in the movie um but yeah and then a movie that I can and will watch once a week for the rest of my life is Dune. I literally love Dune that movie. So it it was shocking how much I liked it. Like, like I I it's never not public information. I never un oh word. Yeah. I never understood um Star Wars fans or Lord of the Ring fans or Harry Potter fans. Like it never none of those ever fucking clicked with me and then i watched dune and like i genuinely have watched it four times since i watched it on the airplane back from miami that's like, insane because that's a really I long movie love that movie it's just like the space politics the way it looks it's like super advanced and like it's not like it's so it's art directed so yeah well. yeah the art direction is crazy and also the soundtrack is fucking sick like i know i ironically play the yelling song like at 2000 <laughs> volume to like pierce our ears while we're writing but like i actually do like the soundtrack but it's not like a social network or a gone girl soundtrack like we all know that you can't replicate that yeah um is it like blade runner soundtrack esque uh yeah it's like the same like maybe i do watch it i don't know though i just like i don't i can't commit my time to it because i was saying yesterday to like mason and drew i grew up in like a star wars lord of the rings household so i spent a lot of like my really early youth watching those movies so they just kind of like they honestly those kind of movies bring me a comfort that puts me to sleep like Mm. i don't think i could actually sit through a star wars movie without going to sleep because it's like in my youth, my parents would put it on and watch it with my older brother, and I would just like knock out. Word, yeah, I um, I love it, and I feel feel like it's like becoming that for me, where I'm like, oh, this is like a comfort movie, like I'm gonna like put this on and like go to sleep to it. Um, but fuck, there was something I was gonna say. Um, oh, after watching that movie. <laughs> After after watching that's that, that's our two D two scream. Fuck that little guy, <laughs> little guy. Him and him and the leg, his Lego scream. Oh, that's like Houdini. No, th- wait, what's Houdini? Oh, that's Mario. No, no Houdini. It was like my. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's when you kill R two D two in Lego Star Wars. I would play as R two D two so I could jump off of things and hear that scream. We should get that game. Do we have? We it? have it. Yeah, we're playing. We should that play. It. Um, but Timothy Chalamet. Let me. You're speak trying my to suck piece. his balls. Let me speak my piece. Um, he watches our podcast, so this is awful. Th- this is this, this oh is. God, so I used to look at Timothy Chalamet and see Nothing. one of the scariest people I've ever seen <laughs> in my life. Like actually. I never understood the That's hype. That's really mean to p- publicly say about a friend, but keep going. Um, well, we're homies. Like this is like true. Yeah, you've you know. said this to him before, yeah. and he's laughed to his fucking mm-hmm. face. Um, but after Dune, I was like, huh, like he has it. I don't know what it is, but he has it, and he's gonna be a star, baby. <laughs> no, but I was like, oh, like I get it. I get like all of the hype. He deserves it. Um, he's awesome, and maybe that's just me being a Dune fanboy. I'm so excited to see him play Willy Wonka. Like, I'm, I'm genuinely excited to see Timothy him. Chalamet plays. Yeah, yeah, Willy Wonka in the oh new Charlie God. and the Chocolate Factory. Dude, and I'm he's not, the most dude, booked actor. That makes of all sense because he's a snack. Uh, what? That ate. Honestly, I'm jealous that I didn't think of that. Fuck you. That ate because it was a snack. Damn. <laughs> Wait, what? No, it's not. I killed it. I you just took all the attention. I just from ate me. your fucking. Timothy Chalamet is Willy Wonka because he's a snack. <laughs> oh my god! He's a piece of candy. <laughs> Drew, what the fuck? Yeah. You're on fire. He's a piece I of candy. He's a sweet, sweet boy. And he's sweet. That was good. That and he's a really sweet good. boy. What are you talking? Why are you just repeating what Drew's saying? Drew, did you want to fuck Oscar Isaac in that movie or what? Yes. Yeah. He did so. you know? I can't publicly say this, but I'll keep that to myself. When is I'll the that new myself. Willy Wonka movie coming out? Oh, there was technical difficulties. And now we're back with the rest of the media to yeah. end the episode. We're going to give you some songs. And maybe I can talk about my <laughs> obsession with Oscar Isaac real quick. Um, Oscar Isaac and Ex Machina is, is the sexiest man I've ever seen in my entire life. Is that it? Yeah. I think, I, he's, I do I think agree. he's mid. Him and... Um, You're jealous that I... Find another man attractive. No, I that has nothing to do with this. I just has nothing to do with the fact that I'm not getting as much attention from you right now. Oh my god, you are such a freak. I just think that he's mid. You're mid. Oh, his penis is probably weird. Whatever. It's actually really beautiful. Yeah. Girthy. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Big Whatever. head. <laughs> penis. Penis. <laughs> um. Vagina. Um. Butthole. Anyways, I'm going to go into my my audio. My audio media of the week is Your Home by Kuniyuki Takashi. Um, BBD Hindcord, or however the fuck you say that, by Apex Twin. <laughs> I Would Die For You Still by Prince. Still such a good song. Still gets me going. The live version from, wait, I'll tell you right now because I literally bought it. His live performance. Oh, stop. At Capitol? At the Capitol Center in Landova, 1984. That performance is so good. Someone called it annoying the other day. Like, I posted an edit, a cute edit I did, like a vlog kind of edit on Patreon to that song. And somebody was like, I love the video, but this song is annoying. And I was like, mm-hmm. you are lacking. You are lacking in flavors right now. Um, and then I think I honestly think that's it for me. That's it for my media. Oh, you go, Drew, because there's one more, but I have to find it. Um, I am trying to break your heart by Wilco. Um, that is goddamn song is a certified classic Mm -hmm. uh it makes me feel things for myself that i don't typically feel um i love that song um ladies and gentlemen we are going to space um by spiritualized um is another just like really really good classic love that song and then airhead by ag cook um it's a pretty decent spread of like those three songs back to back to back will give you a brain aneurysm (laughs) but yeah um in heavy rotation 
Kick the Tragedy by Drop 19s and Search for God by. Or no, Starting Over by LSD and the Search for God. I might be butchering that. Let me make sure. Let me make sure because one of you bitches is going to yell at me. Those two songs. Yeah, it's Starting Over by LSD and the Search for God. Those two songs back to back will make me cry. Um, and they're is that so you were fucking good. This morning? Uh, no, this morning I was playing a few things. There was one song that was literally 18 minutes long saying the same word over and over again. I don't remember which That's one. That's a it was. lot of songs. Um, it was like, and maybe it was like Jesus something. Um, but it was literally repeating the same three words. No, the, like, the two songs I just mentioned are pretty like, like shoegazy and like stretched out and okay. then one of them is only like drum and kicks um and like guitar um and then it's like a monologue all right that's it for this episode thank you for watching i'm gonna go get some shut eye <laughs> no you're gonna come and eat with me baby boy i don't know if i should eat i feel like i'm gonna vomit if i do i feel that um well i'm gonna go have a date with kai and that's it. Okay. Uh-huh. Bye.